Let's all stay in church as we're dismissed tonight. Sing this old song right here. Well, I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ear the Son of God Closes and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share. to that garden tonight. He speaks with the sound of his voice. It's so sweet. The birds hush their singing. And the melody that he gave a movie one time and it was about music and musicians and the guy wasn't satisfied with the songs that he wrote but everybody else was and he was trying to reach perfection in his music and the other guy said well we're not perfect we're just this and he said, I won't shortchange the music. If it's not perfect, it's not worth doing. That's right. And he said, well, well, what is it then? What is, what makes it perfect? And the man thought for a minute and he said, I went out into the desert one time by myself. He said, and there was nothing out there. No sound, no cars, no nothing. He said, but if you knew what to listen for, it was the most beautiful music he had ever heard in his life. Because he found a place where perfection was. It's in God. Now you could take the message that Brother Matthew gave you tonight and you could say, Brother Greg, I, I don't know how to praise God. I don't know. I, 
I, I hear people saying sweet spirit and, and I hear people saying hallelujah and I hear people saying glory to God and I hear all these things but how can I reach a perfect praise with God? Get along with Him for a while. Just get along with Him for a while and, and just say, Lord, I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to just spend a little while with you and I'm going to listen and then let God begin to tell you how to worship Him. They came to Jesus and they said, Father, teach us how to pray. And the people said that this was the Lord's prayer. He said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. When thy kingdom come, let it be done in earth as it is in heaven. Then we know, give us our daily bread and so forth. But that wasn't the Lord's prayer. That was a prayer that he gave the people to teach you how to pray to him. His prayer was, Father, not my will, but let thine will be done. Amen. And if you want to know how to praise God, if you want to know how to worship God, don't worry about what man has taught you. Get along with him for just a little while and be silent. It's like the God told Dad, pray a little, read a whole lot. You'll find out God's got more to say to you than you've got to say to Him. Amen. And in the beauty of perfection, you'll learn how to praise Him Amen. in truth and in spirit. Amen. Amen. And that's, that's right. what He's looking for. Praise God. Not with lip service. Amen. Not with lip service. Amen. Praise Him with you. Praise Him with every fiber of being that is on the inside of you. Yes. And you will see what Brother Matthew was talking about. That's right. He'll begin to speak to us Come on. and give us what it will take for this hour. Mm -hmm. Preachers ask me all the time, Brother Greg, what is God saying about this hour? Maybe he's saying we need to be quiet and listen and hear what the Spirit of the Lord's really, really, really got to say about the matter. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. If you'll go with the Lord Jesus, he'll go with you. Shake hands, be friendly. Sunday morning, 945. 945. Tell him. 940, not 1045.